Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I want to tell everybody about Guzman Design Co. down in the link in the description below. And the reason that I want to tell everybody about it is because they did some fantastic new branding for the channel, which will be uh, going up here soon. I just need some time to uh, do a couple extra things uh, to add, like my Gilded and uh, my Odyssey, and uh, put those up on, on some of the branding. But the branding will be changing soon, but I want you guys to go down to Guzman design co down in the description below because he did some fantastic branding work he is a subscriber of the channel and believes in what you know everybody that uh is like me is talking about and i just i can't say uh i can't say enough about the guy this is not a paid promotion not nothing like that but yeah go down in the link in the description below but without any further ado let's get into the topic of the video we're talking about shadowversity releasing a graphic novel and i think it is hugely important like the ripperverse to be talking about and shouting out the people out there that are working on doing this and working on building culture in a different way these guys are the ones that matter and we as fans of these guys need to be doing videos like this we need to be shouting it out we need to be sharing it with people so without any further ado let's go over to youtube <laughs> All right, let's see here. I better take my uh, desktop audio and turn it on. Otherwise, you guys are going to hear anything. And here we go. Shadow of the Conqueror is the breakout debut novel by Shad M. Brooks. Truly incredible. I absolutely loved this book. Honest. That's Mahler. That's Mahler. He got Mahler to do it. It's awesome. Honestly, it's one of the best books I've ever read. S. Keith Hall. Now, Shadow of the Conqueror is coming to you in an epic graphic novel adaptation with the incredibly talented art of Mike S. Miller. This will bring its dark, confronting story to fans and new readers alike in another beloved format, making the story more accessible than ever before and enabling current fans to enjoy it in new ways. Wow. I was engrossed in the tape. That, okay, so he's getting Mahler to do this, which, good for him. That art looks really fantastic. Um, As somebody who is new to uh, actually reading comic books and not just researching them, you know, uh, uh, graphic novel Shadow Binders here uh, from Clownfish TV, I am really excited uh, I, I, I find myself, I think I like this, the fantasy graphic novels better than the superhero graphic novels up to this point. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see how that changes when I get Isom. But um, I read Shadowbinders 1 and 2. I am currently going through uh, John De La Rosa's uh, Flying Sparks, which is more of a superhero story. So far, I really like the fantasy style. So I, I, I like this. I like what Shad's doing here. I like... Obviously, he got Mahler to do the voiceover work because Mahler, you know, he has that deep voice that can really speak. Well, <clears throat> that's more Mufasa than Mahler. Sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> my voice is aside. Let's get back into this first impressions because I haven't seen any of this yet. Tale of the Conqueror. I laughed, cried, growled with anger, and shouted with joy. But also during this entertaining ride of emotion, I came away with mental growth and new perspective on the human condition. Andrew Johnson. Mike is a 28-year veteran of the comic book industry, famous for his work on DC Comics Injustice series and George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones related graphic novels. I've read That's where I heard Mark's name before was in the Injustice series. I I looked into that briefly. Injustice was um from what I know of it, because I only know very little of the Injustice series, I just haven't got into it yet uh, through like audio form. Uh, the Injustice series was was pretty pretty nuts, uh, it, and it explored a part of comic books that had been and hadn't been explored at the time. Had so many novels I've lost count, fantasy genre or otherwise, but in my opinion, this is one of the best. Seton four two five. The author of Shadow of the Conqueror, Shad M. Brooks, has been a fan of both comic books and Mike's work for many years, and is thrilled to be working with him to bring this graphic novel to the highest standards possible. 
I don't typically listen to audiobooks multiple times, but this is my fourth time through and I'm loving it more each time. Highly recommend for anyone who loves fantasy action stories. See Barker. The book will be separated into four graphic novel volumes. This first one, entitled Enemies of Self, has 48 pages of stunning art visualizing the amazing and unique world of Everfall with some of the best work Mike has ever done. Okay, so just the the artwork there, the the artwork there is just typical of Western style, just Western style swashbuckling and action adventure. Um, I have not read Shadowversity's uh, novel. This gets me really excited. I'm probably going to be picking this up. I have to talk to my wife. I have spent so much, so much fucking money on the graphic novels and stuff, and this is something that we never thought we would we would be doing. But um, I will be pestering my wife uh, tonight to be like, "Hey babe, hey babe, hey babe." And guys, married men out there, you know the "Hey babe," you know that. You know what I'm going through. If you're a married man, and you know, and like I said, my wife, I I trust her 100%. She controls the finances of the house because I trust her to do that. I make the money, and she makes sure that all that money goes to where it needs to go. It goes to my kids. It goes to our bills, you know. And at the end of the day, if she and I have something for ourselves, we do that. So I trust my wife to do that. Men out there who have a similar situation, you know the hey babe, hey babe. So you know, I was just. I was just kind of looking at this thing online, you know, no, it's, it's, you know, like, I don't need it, you know, but, but it's really cool. Can I show it to you? You know exactly what I'm talking about. This looks really fun. I, I thought I would be more into the superhero stuff, but for some reason, this fantasy shit just gets me really, really, really excited. So I, let's get back into the video. Let's get going. It must be admitted that there was a large amount of skepticism when this book was recommended. However, a story that would leave the reader hooked and begging for more was not something that was expected. The overall plot and flow of the story was simply phenomenal. I highly recommend this book. It is filled with action, humor, love, hate, science, and the psychology of the human... Okay, so as a first impressions here, the fact that they're going over reviews of his actual book and people who are fans of the book and actually highlighting the people who have reviewed the book, that's fantastic. This is a great way to market that your book is being turned into a graphic novel. In condition. History Rewriter. Separating the book into four volumes gives great opportunity to adapt more of the work and even add new content not seen in the original novel. Far from being given secondary regard as a token adaptation that... That looks awesome. Also, that guy straight up took a spear to the shoulder. What the hell? Dude, that would break your damn collarbone. Oh, that looks really good. I like the artwork there. I like... That's really cool. Doesn't accurately represent the source material. The graphic novels are being made with the intent to form a crucial part of the Everfall story, revealing fascinating aspects to the characters and world not found in any other format. Powerful and gut-wrenching. I laughed, introspected, winced, wondered, cried, and will be revisiting this world. Michael Larson. At the time of launching this Indiegogo campaign, the graphic novel is completed and ready to print. This is not to fund the creation of the graphic novel, but to give- That's awesome! Yes! I love that people are, are doing this. It's- The crowdfund isn't necessarily for the creation of the graphic novel. It's already done. The crowdfund is to just get the books in people's hands. I love that people are finally evolving- what crowdfunding can be. This is utterly fantastic and exactly what is needed in our space. The space that's like, look, we just want good storytelling again. That is utterly fantastic. Holy crap. Okay, 
sorry, I this is fantastic. Give you the chance to get your hands on it. We will be able to place a print order as soon as this launch campaign ends and you will get the graphic novel in your hands much sooner without needing to wait for the graphic novel's completion. With the launch of the graphic novel, I'm very excited to announce that during this Indiegogo campaign, I will be releasing a refined version of Shadow of the Concrete as a second edition version. This is not the sequel, but a more refined and polished version of Shadow of the Concrete. With an inc so he worked on his story after he sold it and is willing to say, hey guys, I want to give you the director's cut of my book. Damn it, now I gotta buy the book too. You guys are asking me for too much money, and I don't make any money off of doing this. But I gotta do it. This is awesome! Incredible new cover made by Chris McGrath. The second edition will at first be an exclusive in the Indiegogo campaign where you will be able to get your hands on a limited edition version of the second edition novel with the graphic novel covers, which will not be available ever again once this launch campaign ends. And in addition to this, we've gone even further and made premium, high-class, display-quality, collector-edition, leather-bound versions of a second-edition novel and graphic novel, both of which will be available Okay, so the leather-bound editions are going to be fantastic. I love leather-bound books. Actually, I have... Hold on one second. Uh... Oh, I'm about to rip all my stuff out. This is the Edgar Allan Poe leather bound edition. I love my leather bound books. Uh, I do have a Shakespeare one also in the house as well. But no, the leather bound edition is absolutely fantastic. And I am super excited for this. Um, but before we continue on the video, or we probably won't continue on the video, let's go over to the Indiegogo campaign. Where is the Indiegogo? Enemies of the Self, right here. Sorry, I got so many tabs open. I am unaware as to what's going on. So, anyway, the Indiegogo campaign right here, Shadows of the Conqueror. He's taking his book. It's right here. He does have a $500 uh, US super fan bundle. He has the graphic novel ebook right here. Um,. He has the novel ebook. He has the graphic novel itself, which is $25. The hardback novel, that's... Uh, artist edition graphic novel. Ooh, artist edition ink. Only edition for the fan. Interesting. All four graphic novels. I will be looking at this heavily. Indiegogo.com. Enemies of the shadows. Enemies of self-shadow of the conqueror. That is where you go to pick this up. So here's the reason that I'm very excited about this. This is the reason that I'm excited about this. Everybody, oh, well, it's just some YouTube guy that you follow. No, dude, I'm, I'm just, I want storytelling that I like again. I said it the other day on the, the last Ripperverse video that I did. I was, I am, I'm, I, I'm a movie and TV guy. Movie and TV, I haven't been into in a long time. I, I won't watch any of the new Marvel stuff. It's all trash garbage. Endgame, Endgame fell so far from what Infinity War was. I jumped off of the Marvel bandwagon at that point. Uh, if a Marvel movie comes out and people are like, hey, go check it out, I will. Uh, uh, with the Spider-Man movie, uh, I did with Spider-Man Far... No Way Home. Spider-Man No Way Home. That one I thought was good. It has problems. The first, the first 45 minutes and then the absolute evisceration that they did to Doctor Strange was bad. But the reason that I'm excited about this is because this is something that I could probably get. Uh, assuming that it's somewhat friendly to children, I could get my kids into good storytelling. My kids don't have to go with the trash garbage that are going out there. Again, everything that I am doing is to make sure that the next generation comes up in a way that they need to come up in. And the next generation being my children, that's what I am focused on. I am excited about this. I'm excited about the Ripperverse. I'm excited about Crimson Wren coming out. Um, those are the three big ones. I really like that uh, Razor Fist is, getting, is doing his pulps. I still have to buy those. But, you know, money is money and I'm poor. So this is what we need. We need creators going out there saying, check this out. And I think 
that somebody taking a book and converting it into a graphic novel, which is not the first time it's ever been done, but it's not done very often. It's only done seldomly and generally by another company that's like, hey, we can do a, a, a fun way for your. No, it's being done by the same guy who did the book. This is hugely important. This is what we need. This is going to be fantastic. So if you guys have read the Shadowversity book, let me know in the comments below. If you guys are excited to see more content come out, I put this on the screen. Actually, you know what? Before we sign off here, let me put it on the screen. Indiegogo, okay? Enemies of Self Shadow of the Conqueror Volume 1. Enemies of Self Shadow, or Enemies of Self Shadow of the Conqueror Volume 1. Sorry, it's weird up here. Yeah, there's the you guys can see it up here. Let's highlight that. You guys can see that. Go buy the Shadowversity book. If you guys believe in good storytelling and this looks fun, the colors pop. I like the grizzled look of it. This is something that we need to support. Why do I do this? Because we need to have fans of the guys doing this the way that fans and the DC guys are doing. You know what? We got the Marvel and DC stands. Well, fuck it. I'll stand for these guys. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's create that culture. Well, you're just a stand for these guys. Fuck it. Yes, I am. You're a stand for the other guys. Why can't I be a stand for the shit that I like and you can be a stand for the shit that you like? And that's what we need to say to these Marvel and DC douchebags that have absolutely eviscerated the American culture. Well, you know what? These guys aren't just doing American culture. These guys are doing worldwide culture. And if we do it right, we're going to get back what we deserve in this life. And what we strive for in this life. So go and support Shadowversity. I am very excited about this. As soon as I am done with this video, I'm going to be go be calling my wife and say, hey, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. And then she's going to ask what I want. And I'm going to tell her I want this book. And I am hopefully going to be able to do that uh, within 45 days. But without any further ado, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, ring the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. Oh, but before you do any of that, go in the link in the description below. Go to Guzman Design Co. He's a subscriber of the channel and did some serious work for the channel to help us out with branding. This is not a sponsored spot. This is not a promotion. He does fantastic work. It's something a thousand times better than anything that I could have come up with myself. And the branding on the YouTube channel will be changing very soon. So keep a lookout for that. But go in the description below to Guzman Design Co. And make sure you support those who support this channel. That's how you help. You show that we have a real community, a fantastic community. And you show that we are strong together. That sounded super gay. I'm out. Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.